हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू एवरीथिंग मेटलर्जी एंड वेलकम टू डे 18 ऑफ 100 डेज 100 कॉन्सेप्ट्स सो टुडे एज आई ऑलरेडी प्रॉमिस्ड वी विल लुक एट आयरन कार्बन डायग्राम सो बेसिकली दिस इज नथिंग बट आयरन कार्बन फेज डायग्राम और इक्विलिब्रियम डायग्राम एनीथिंग व्हिच यू वांट टू कॉल राइट नाउ वी हैव आयरन कार्बन एलॉयस सो यूजुअली इन आयरन कार्बन एलॉयस कार्बन में भी प्रेजेंट इन टू डिफरेंट फॉर्म्स नंबर वन इज फ्री कार्बन विच इज नथिंग बट माई ग्राफाइट और इट मे बी ऑल्सो प्रेजेंट इन द फॉर्म ऑफ इंटरमेटालिक कार्बाइड विच वी से विच इज नथिंग बट माई आयरन कार्बाइड इट इज एफ ई थ्री सी एंड इट इज More famously known as cementite. Okay, so usually this cementite is metastable in nature. Okay, so if you remember, in one of our live demo videos, I have explained this uh, how the G versus X curve is affecting my phase diagram. Okay, so if you if you have not watched, please go and check it. So usually, uh, whenever we talk about iron carbon equilibrium diagram, we usually plot iron iron carbide diagram. Okay, of course there is iron graphite diagram also, but this thing is more famous because usually uh, this metastable phase is found in many of the alloys, right? So how this particular diagram is, uh, you know. made or how this particular diagram looks like will uh, see in this particular video right now first of all what is the weight percentage so we all know in phase diagram we plot between temperature and the composition so of course if there is uh, no barrier or something we know that we can plot from 0 to 100 percentage of solute but now we have something called cementite so we are only plotting till the weight percentage of cementite that means the percentage of carbon which is present in cementite so for that how you can, how you can you calculate it so it's so simple it's just uh, the weight of carbon usually it is 12 divided by the total weight total weight is 3 into 56 plus 12 into 100 okay so if you quickly calculate this how much you'll be getting 3 into 56 plus 12 so this is 12 divided by 180 into 100 so this will be 6.66 something like that percentage so this is the carbon content that we are interested to study about so in iron carbon phase diagram usually if you see you have starting from 0 percentage carbon to how much 6.67 percentage carbon Okay, fine. So this is what it is. Now uh, we'll come back to the phase diagram later on. Now uh, we'll see what are the different phases that are present in my system. Okay, so we all know what are the different phases that are present. So usually we have alpha ferrite, we have gamma ferrite, and we also have delta ferrite. so these are the three important phases okay of car iron carbon alloys so usually all these are interstitial solid solutions okay so all these are interstitial solid solutions okay so interstitial solid solutions of what of carbon in iron okay so alpha ferrite is an interstitial solid solution of carbon in bcc iron so usually alpha ferrite is bcc okay so whenever you are defining these individual phases what you can do is you can always define with the help of the structure and with the help of the maximum solubility what is this mean so this means that how much percentage of carbon can go what is the maximum amount of carbon that can go and dissolve into my alpha ferrite right so usually uh, if you just take it alpha ferrite as an example it is an interstitial solid solution of carbon in iron 
with maximum solubility of 0.025 percentage carbon okay so similarly the other two so gamma of iron is the interstitial solid solution of carbon in fcc iron okay so it has fcc crystal structure right so and with maximum solubility of Point one one percentage. Okay, so similarly, if you want to write for delta iron, okay, uh, yeah, uh, one more thing I just forgot is this gamma or FCC iron is famously called as my austenite phase. Okay, so of course uh, the temperature range also varies. You, if you want to have delta ferrite at room temperature, it's you know uh, quite impossible. Maybe you may do some uh modifications with rapid cooling or something but at equilibrium it's not possible so even the temperature ranges are important which i'll show you in the phase diagram itself so delta iron so delta iron is again bcc form okay delta iron is um, a bcc iron where uh, it is having maximum solubility of 0.09 weight percentage of carbon okay so now we saw the different structures okay i mean other structures of the phases different phases and also the maximum solubilities of uh, carbon in different phases right now what we'll do is we'll quickly try to plot in my iron carbon phase diagram so usually this is temperature and uh, this is what percentage carbon okay so in this particular iron carbon phase diagram you have three invariant reactions okay three invariant reactions at different temperatures so uh, i'll just plot it and then explain the different invariant reactions so it usually takes place at 727 degrees celsius 1147 degrees celsius and the other one is usually happening at 15 10 degrees celsius okay so it will be usually taking place at uh, 15 10 or around 1500 degrees celsius to be precise actually it is not 15 10 it is about 1495 degrees celsius okay right now so let's uh, you know draw the lines at this particular constant temperature so let's say this is my 727 line okay of course uh, it will go till somewhere here 1147 and the next line will be something like this okay so these are the three invariant reactions now how will this be this is how this will be forming Okay, I will just draw it and then I will try to explain. Okay, so this is something which you will find. Okay, something like this will be there. So, if you see here, this is what this is. 727 degrees celsius this is 40, uh, 1147 degrees celsius and this is 1495 degrees celsius okay so this is how much this is 1495 okay otherwise i'll just write it on the outer side right so uh, one more thing you have to remember is of course if you heat it at pure iron uh, that means along this zero percent carbon line then you see this point to be my melting point of my iron what is melting point it is usually 1539 degrees celsius right so this is something which we have now so i have liquid at this particular thing i have alpha phase okay this is gamma iron and this is delta iron 
okay so let's erase this thing right so if you see here these are the three different solid solutions which i just discussed alpha gamma and delta so as i already said what is the maximum solubility of carbon in alpha that is this point how much is this 0.025 similarly uh, what is the maximum solubility here 2.11 percentage and what is the solubility of here uh, i'll just uh, try to write it here because it looks odd if i draw it it is 0.09 percentage right so here if you see we have three different points that you have to focus number one number two and number three okay so these are the three different points where you are seeing some reaction taking place some phase transformation that is taking place okay at these three different temperatures so these are called invariant points where you find zero degree of freedom and all the other stuff which we have already discussed correct so if you also want to plot that this will be 4.3 weight percentage this will be 0.77 percentage and how much is this this is 0.17 percentage and of course this is 0.53 now you have if you uh, remember the liver rule concept you have three different tie lines over here in this phase diagram at 727 degrees celsius 1147 and 1495 so these are the three different reactions that we have invariant reactions okay so number one let's say at 727 degrees celsius so if you carefully observe what is uh, the tie line that we have so if you take the tie line this is 0 0.025 this is point uh, how much is this 0.77 yeah of course uh, this will be here and the last one will be what it is touching the cementite line itself so i just shortened the line so here uh, if you observe this is a line something like this so this is gamma and we have some other phases over here so right so this is if you see here this particular region over here is nothing but the intersection between alpha plus gamma so you find these two regions at this particular region you find liquid plus gamma this is liquid plus cementite okay and this will be gamma plus fe3c right and uh, what is the other thing in this phase this will be liquid plus delta iron and what is this thing this thing is my delta plus gamma phase okay so these are the different phases that i have and finally i forgot this is alpha plus fe3c correct so at this particular point you find gamma is converting into alpha plus cementite at this particular point you find liquid converting to gamma plus cementite and similarly at this particular point you find the mixture actually this is the mixture of liquid plus delta iron converting into gamma fe so these are the three different reactions which i am talking about so number one this is gamma converting to what alpha plus fe3c okay so this is something like this so you can always say that this lies on the equilibrium line between alpha and fe3c and the reaction will be what reaction will be gamma at 0.77 percentage is converting into alpha at 0.025 percentage plus fe3c at 6.67 percentage and what is the temperature at which this is happening 727 degrees celsius this is called eutectoid reaction okay so one solid is splitting into two different reactions or uh, two different you know solids correct similarly if you see at all the other places so at 1147 degrees celsius you find that the liquid at 4.3 percentage so just go back rewind and take a screenshot of the diagram or you know uh, just draw it okay so at 11.47 degrees celsius this will form gamma at 2.1 percentage plus fe3c at of course 6.61 percentage what is this called this is my eutectic reaction okay and uh, 
what is the other one that we have we have at 1495 degrees celsius where you see liquid plus delta fe what is liquid liquid at 0.53 percentage and delta iron at 0.09 percentage is forming austenite at how much 0.17 percentage which i already plotted previously so this is my peritectic reaction okay so these are the three important reactions which you find so basically at any point or at any temperature you can always draw a tie line and use the concept of liver rule to find the fractions of the phases and also the composition of carbon that is present in these different phases. So this is uh, a simple overview of iron carbon diagrams. So what else you can learn from these is the critical temperatures. Okay, so I want you to go and study about the critical temperature which is usually A1, A2, A3, A4 and ACM. So these are the three uh, different lines which I already plotted okay so just try to see this and also find the iron pluses uh, versus graphite diagram okay so see uh, the difference between this and that and observe what is the difference that you are finding so I hope you uh, got a clear cut idea of basics of iron carbon diagram and the different reactions that are involved in iron carbon diagram. So if you like it, please hit the like button and also share with all the gate metallurgy aspirants so that they find this useful and get benefited. And of course, if you like our work, please go watch our website everythingmetallurgy.com where you can find the most affordable test series for gate MD. And also, we have one of the most affordable guidance program using the pre-recorded video courses so do check out at everythingmetallurgy.com thank you guys thanks for watching meet you tomorrow with one more interesting concept thank you